What is going on you guys? It's your girl Diana, back at you with another YouTube video. These seven star Dondozo raids have been live for a couple of days, so today I'll be going over how you can solo the raid in case you don't have a group to take them down. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Bye. Bye. Before we hop into the actual solo strategy, let's go ahead and quickly go over what exactly you're going to be going up against when you do actually get into the raid. So Don Dozo is of course going to be level 100 and it is going to have the water terra type while also being a pure water type Pokemon. And this is actually the only 7 star raid that we've had today where the Pokemon doesn't actually have its hidden ability, it actually has the ability unaware. Which means that when attacking, the Pokemon ignores the target's stat changes. As for its main moveset, it is going to go ahead and use Wave Crash, Order Up, Earthquake and Avalanche. However, it does also have access to Yawn, so it can put you to sleep. As for our solo raid Pokemon, we are going to go with an old classic, which is Belly Bolt. You, of course, want your Belly Bolt to be level 100, and it is a pure electric type Pokemon. And for this raid, you do want it to have the Electric Terra. Its health item is going to be a Magnet, which boosts the power of any electric type attacks. It's also going to have the ability Electromorphosis, which means that when it gets hit and takes damage, it actually charges up its electric type attacks and its EV spread is going to be full HP and full special attack with a special attacking nature. As for its moveset, you're going to want to go ahead and go with Chilling Water, Parabolic Charge, Acid Spray, and Discharge. Chilling Water is going to lower Dondozo's attack. Parabolic Charge does damage as well as gives you HP recovery. Acid Spray lowers Dondozo's special defense, and Discharge is going to be your big hard-hitting electric attack. But now that we've gone over what you're going to be going up against and what you're going to be bringing, let's go ahead and hop into the actual solo strat. So when you do get into the raid, Dondozo doesn't do anything crazy turn one. So we're going to go ahead and just go in with a chilling water just so we can right off the bat lower its attack stat. It's obviously not going to be very effective, but it's going to help in the long run. We are going to be getting hit by a wave crash here, which does actually do a ton of damage considering that it's a very powerful move and it also has water terra. You'll see it is using Yawn on one of the NPCs, so just be aware of that. And if you do get slept, just use a heal cheer. But I'm going to go ahead and use Parabolic Charge this turn just to one, do some damage and two, get some HP back. It is nice that we do have Seed Sower on the field, so we have Terrain giving us HP as well. We're getting hit by yet another Wave Crash here. And as you can see, it still does quite a bit of damage, even though it's not very effective against us, which is why the Chilling Waters are going to come in handy. It does steal Terra Orb, so you do have to do an extra turn of damage in order to Terrastalize, but I'm going to go in with another Chilling Water here to lower its attack even more. We are getting hit by Avalanche, which does significantly less than Wave Crash, so I am A-OK -okay with that. This turn I am going to go for another Parabolic Charge to once again do some damage and I mean we don't really need the HP recovery but it is nice that we are at full HP. We are going to be getting hit by this Wave Crash however and that still does a nice chunk of damage. Beware of crits by the way because crits hurt a lot and if you do end up fainting while you have your Terra up I would recommend just restarting the raid. If you faint without Terra you should be good and be able to win still. But now that I can Terrastalize, I am going to Terrastalize and I'm going to go ahead and go in with a Parabolic Charge. And I would recommend Parabolic Charging until you see it nullify any like negative effects towards itself. We are getting hit by an Avalanche here and its shield is going to go up this turn as well. And it is going to be removing those negative effects. So I should be good to go to the next step which is going to be to use another Chilling Water since it deleted basically all of the other ones that we had previously done. It's also going to nullify any stat changes for us. So here is my Chilling Water. So that should help us out in the long run just so that we don't get take as much damage because like I said, the wave crashes hurt even though they are not very effective. Do you see that? Do you see how much damage that does? That's crazy. I am going to go ahead and go in with an Acid Spray here to lower its special defense. And we are getting hit by a wave crash. So at this point, depending on where your HP is, you can do two different things. If you're low HP like me, I would recommend using Parabolic Charge just so that you can get your HP recovery. But if you're above half health, you should be pretty free to go ahead and use Discharge. So I'm going to go ahead and use Parabolic Charge just because even though I'm in the green, if I get hit by another wave crash, I'm like done for. And like I said, you don't want to faint if you have your Terra up. If you faint before Terra, you should be good. So now that we have gotten back up to full HP, I should be pretty free to use Discharge. And we did get lucky with a Paralysis. So we're basically getting a free Discharge without taking any damage. So here is our Discharge. 
And you'll see that it doesn't do too much damage, but it's gonna be the hardest hitting move that we can use on it. We are gonna get hit by a wave crash here, which does do quite a bit of damage once again, but it did activate Seed Sower, so we are gonna get some free HP heals. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a Discharge once again, just because I am pretty good on HP, and we are getting hit by yet another wave crash. Dondozo really does not like us. He really said, let me use the hardest hitting move that I have. We did get lucky once again, and it did get paralyzed, so we love paralysis, and its shield did break. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with Discharge once again, just because like I said, I'm still good on HP. If you're ever running low on HP, just feel free to Parabolic Charge. Especially once its shield goes down, it'll do a ton more damage. And here is our final Discharge, and boom, there you go. You have now defeated the lovely, ugly catfish. You do get Erba Mystica from these raids, and of course you do get some vitamins. This one is gonna be dropping HP ups, so I love that. But there you have it, that is how you can easily solo these 7 star Dondozo raids. Per usual, leave a comment down below with what you ended up using, since I'm sure people would love some other options. That's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for today's video, hopefully you guys found this video helpful, and if you did, I kindly suggest you consider subscribing so that I can continue to make content for you guys. And if you were already subscribed and you would like another way to support the channel, feel free to check out the merch store. There is a link down below in the description that takes you to not only my merch store, but also all of my other socials so you can keep up with what I'm doing on a daily basis. But thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you to those of you who have joined the channel as members. I appreciate you all so much. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.